Now, I have created a test pack in order for this tutorial to have an example. Now, I have the first side and the other side of my pack here. Its dimensions are uh, 100 uh, by 200 millimeters, as you can see from my arrow boots, and my side is 50 millimeters. So now, to have the basis of my illustration, I will create a 100 by 200 rectangle. I will I will give it a gray color. I will go to effect 3D extrude and bevel. Now, if I check the preview, you can see that I have a 3D object. Now, <coughs> I'll give it a 50 millimeter because my side is 50 millimeter wide. I will rotate it 26 degrees in the y axis 0 and 0 and now I will give it also a perspective let's give it I think this is too much I can also change the direction of the light I think 30 degrees is ok for this now this will act as my reference on which I will add my designs. Now I will copy this, Command C, and press Command N to create a new file in Photoshop. Let's scale it up a little bit. Alt Backspace to open the foreground color, Command V to paste our 3D object. Now, this is our base of our illustration. I will give a light gray to the background by pressing Command U. And now I will Command click on this to create a uh, I will create a group layer and give it a layer mask. Now this will only be our reference. Now if I create a new layer and fill it with the background color you can see it has taken the mask of the group. Now I, don't, I won't need this for now. Let's give it a new layer and fill it with white. Let's say this is okay. Now first of all I will have to draw some basic shadows for my object here. So outside the group layer, I'll create a new layer and give it and start creating my colors for the floor, my shadows for the floor. So I'll take my airbrush, a feathered airbrush, scale it with my left and right bracket, and write with black a shadow here by pressing shift to create a line as you can see now this is too hard so I will multiply it and reduce it a little bit I'll also create a layer mask and erase some parts of it now let's create one more shadow with a bigger brush right bracket Scale the brush up, shift to create lines, multiply it and reduce it enough. Create a new layer mask and try to imitate reality here. I'll also lift up my shadow a little bit. And this also. Now let's create. I can also smooth it up some areas because no shadow is from one point to another the same. So with my opacity of my brush here, sorry, go to my layer mask and press with black to erase some parts. Now I will treat my background 
a little more I will have my black selected let's add a vignette to our background with the edge of our airbrush let's multiply it and this is ok for now now let's go to our pack I can see here I go to my group layer, create a new layer and call it left shadow, right shadow I will go to my rectangle selection go here fill it with black alt backspace go to filter blur, Gaussian blur and give it a little bit of a feather that's ok now multiply and bring its opacity really down I can also create a new layer mask go to my airbrush reduce its opacity and ease this a little bit give it 12 and that's ok for now now let's go to our white layer and give it a little bit darker color ok now let's say the light is coming from here to here <coughs> let's create another shadow for the front and let's go and say it's this a light shadow here multiply again this and this now let's create a light for the front 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 light I will go to my rectangular selection and I will go and create a light here I will want a bit intense for now ok let's filter blur Gaussian blur and feather this a little bit let's create a light for the corner It. reduce our brush size a little bit go here to the edge click and then by pressing shift click again and now I will I can also move this a little bit to the right now let's say we are okay for now create a few more shadows corner shadows and we'll fix the rest of it layer go here shift and shift shift and shift multiply, reduce the opacity I can also create a layer mask reduce my brushes opacity and correct this a little bit now let's say this is ok for now <coughs> as you can see we have our pack here we can work on it now let's make a little bit darker the background and let's add the light to the background light go to white color and with the airbrush light a little bit 
Now, this is our basic illustration in Photoshop. I will save this. Now, I will go to Illustrator. I will delete this. And I will export my two artboards. First of all, I will go to Document Setup, go Bleed to Zero. Okay, so now File, Export, Desktop, JPEG, Use Artboard, Export and RGB. I can also copy and paste them in Photoshop as smart objects. But we'll do this for now. So now I will take my front side. I will bring it in my illustration layers and I will rasterize it, of course. Oh, cancel. Rasterize it. This is on uh, under all the other layer, the shadows and the lights. And I will press Command T. And by pressing Command, you can see that when I go to a corner, by pressing Command, I have this white arrow. And now I can match the corners of my package. And I match the perspective of my package here. I bring the other one here, rasterize it, press Command T. And by pressing Command, I match the appropriate corners. <coughs> now, all we have to do is play with a shadows and their opacities let's say that our front light let's set it to overlay and also reduce its opacity a little bit let's go to our corner light and overlay this also perhaps I can move it a little bit yep <coughs> I can also ease its opacity a little bit now let's go to our shadows here and increase them a little bit to our front shadow and also increase a little bit perhaps duplicate it and now you can also create add more lights depending on the colors of your pack for here for example and add a small backlight like that backlight to a new layer let's increase our opacity and add also a backlight here perhaps reduce its opacity a little bit Now this is just the basic illustration to present to your client. And I can also go here and fix my corners a little bit to my group layer mask with my polygon and fill them with black and I can also fix this corner here. Go to my polygon, click, 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 add backspace to fill with black. And perhaps I'll do it here a little bit.
Now I'm pretending this is a paper pack. So this is that's how I treat it. Perhaps I can fix its shadow a little bit more and give it with my polygon tool. I go here and let's say I will give it a shadow like that. Filled with command backspace to fill with back, uh, my background color, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I think this is okay. Command T to stretch it a little bit, bring it up, multiply, reduce its opacity, and also create a layer mask. Go to my brush, reduce the opacity of my brush, right bracket to scale up my brush, and ease on the mask a little bit my shadow. And this way I can change, uh, I can use multiple designs to present with this, um, to create a presentation with this illustration. Let's say I can change the color of my pack, create a new color, word, a new layer, new color, let's add color, command U. And now I can change colors. Depending on the colors, I might, I might have to adjust my highlights or my shadows. And this is for this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.